Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. Here we go. Uh, GameStop had a great day. A wedge within a wedge within a wedge, ready to break out. You guys see it, it's all on the charts. If you guys don't know how to read the TNA, sorry for you. Can't catch you up. It's been 10 months, okay? Start learning how to read these charts, and then you'll know how to start really investing if you're going to follow TNA. Uh, AMC had a great day, of course. A lot of volume. GameStop 1.16 volume, less than yesterday. But let's talk about something. Uh, I have guys out there. I had a couple of buddies. They say they went in and sold their GameStop shares to go buy Sheeb. <laughs> Sheeb in you. How'd that work out for you? I gave you a video last night. I tried to save you, and I tried to save them, and they lost 30% of their um, their money in there. They don't listen. Nobody's listening, but it's fine. Let's see if you guys are listening. Adam Aaron, AMC. I made this pledge to you guys a while back that every time I see a stupid tweet out of Adam Aaron, uh, I'm going to make a video. This is not personal, but it just might be at this point. When I look at Adam Aaron, I don't see the greatest CEO of all time. I don't follow him that way. I literally see a guy trying to survive, flapping his gums out there in the wind. And I, I don't really understand why people are, are okay with this hashtag, me personally. Uh, the hashtag is choke on that. And he's been using it for about three days now. I don't know what he wants me to choke on. I don't know who he's talking to. Is it to some political, some some writer, some naysayers, as he calls it? But who? All of the world is behind him. All of the world is give him a pat on the back. You've seen every single news network put him on the screen. He's got tons of people that love him now. Oh my God, his Doge tweet. It got it got a like from Elon Musk. He's this guy's the next CEO. He's the next everything. No, he's a fake. He's a fraud. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this out for you, Adam Aaron. I'm gonna use the same hashtag to you. Choke on that, bro. And here's why: you made a tweet, or you put out a tweet. Some of you have have suggested that as a CEO of AMC Movie Theaters, I'm playing chess while the detractors play checkers. I, who's who's doing this kind of self gloss? Like I've never seen this a day in my life. Even by cocky athletes, I've never seen this speaking in third person almost. On the weekend that James Bond is uh, No Time to Die opens in the U.S., it feels more like AMC is playing 3D dimensional chess to the naysayers. I say it loud. Choke on that. I'm trying to figure this out, Adam Aaron. So you want us to say that you are the greatest or that you're playing chess while the others are playing checkers and all you're doing is doing your job? You're putting a movie on a movie theater. That's it? No Doge dreams, no NFT drama where you don't hire a single NFT guy, but you say you're going to, you have NFT plans. Um, you say you have acquisitions and mergers with companies when all you're doing is buying rights. There's a big difference there. When those other companies like the NFL or boxing or MMA and or the opera or anything else that you want to show in your movie theaters, when they're calling you, now that's a merger. That's an acquisition. Not when you're paying fees to distribute them on your screens to try to try to get more people in there, right? You're trying to, I don't know if that's your advertising campaign, but the fact that you have the most movement of all time in the history of this damn company, there are more eyes visible on AMC today than ever before. Why the hell would you spend $25 million on advertising? And by the way, where are those commercials played? On CNBC? Why am I seeing commercials on CNBC? Who are you targeting? Investors? I know you are. Who are you targeting with your tweets and the timing of your tweets? Investors? Exactly. You're not targeting the crowd, the masses. You're not trying to get more people into your movie theaters. I promise you. You're just trying to raise a stock price. And why? Who benefits from the stock price going up? People who own shares. And it's not the shareholders that we're rewarding because these shareholders aren't selling. They're actually diamond handing bag holding for you, the insiders, the insiders that have sold off almost $20 million worth of shares in a COVID year last year when they got nothing but stock offering and bonus pay in a year where you were completely closed. A new CFO comes in and he's making how much money? $4 million off of stock options and bonuses? This is absolutely wild. You run a business this way and no one cares. No one cares because all they want to say is the shorts cover. You guys don't understand. It's not that the shorts cover. Who's benefiting off of your bag diamond holding hands? I want to know what it is. Who's benefiting? The insiders are because they know the profits of this company. They know the deals. 2016, when Adam Aaron got there, this, these guys made money. 
They were profitable. They had enough money to go out there. The stock price was at $28, $27, that range. But they had enough money to go out there and what? Acquire Odin Movie Theaters, UK. Now with that is UCI. That is down south. And that's South America, Peru, Brazil, all those run down third world countries. But he bought a movie theaters for $921 million. Uh, I believe Odin Kino as well, uh, the other part of, of Europe. Guess what, guys? Those movie theaters lose $125 million a month right now. The deal is terrible. And when you have $2 billion and you're losing $125 a month just right there, oh, but in America, they're not losing that much. No total, he lost in a quarter, 300 and whatever, maybe $90 million every month he's losing on average, bleeding on the table, not paying debt. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, he just paid $35 million in debt, and you said it. $35 million on $5.5 billion is a joke. That's what was owed. Somebody called him up and said, hey, before you ever spent $25 million on advertising when Nicole Kidman and whatever a washed-up actress... Why, by the way, why are you doing those commercials? Why are you advertising at all? You have free advertisement here. Everyone's talking about it. I guarantee you GameStop doesn't have an advertising budget. Not at all. I know numerous companies that don't have an advertising budget because it's all about word of mouth. When you have a product, when you have a service that is top notch, top of the line, word of mouth will get you there. I promise you that. It's not going to happen here. And I'm going to explain furthermore. So after you buy... Your, your movie theaters in the UK. A couple of months later, you decide, you know what, I'm going to expand this footprint even more. And you go lie to your own investors and you say Carmike movie theaters too. That, that acquisition deal is a good deal. We all knew it wasn't. That's the deal that actually puts you under. And you just, you're not smart enough to admit it or you, have, you just don't have it. You don't have the psyche to actually be like, you know what, I failed. I made a mistake. You bought $1.1 billion worth of movie theaters that, that don't make money. You inherited their debt. Why would you ever go inherit? Why would you ever go act, do an acquisition where you inherit debt? Your credit rating is triple C, and that's an increase from where it was before. Five years you've been running this bad debt, bad credit scheme, and now that you have the movement of the masses, the manipulation of the masses, everyone's selling off, including yourself. Guys, I guarantee you Adam Aaron is selling this, this whole last quarter, right? It's going to be announced. You'll see it. And when is he going to sell? The minute these tweets really get the stock going in one direction? I don't know. But I know the truth. I know that they don't make a single dollar. The movie, This movie company is beyond failing. And every last idea that he has spammed out there, like spaghetti on a wall, what's going to stick? Everything else falls. Oh, crypto, doge. What are we doing now? Shiba Inu? Inu? I don't even know. He doesn't know. He's running his business through Twitter, and you guys keep allowing it. So choke on that, Adam Aaron. Choke on your debt. Choke on everything around you because the truth is that's what's happening. You will choke on these words. I'll see you around, guys. I wish you guys the best of luck. But to, to insinuate that you are playing checkers while other people are playing chess or vice versa, guys, it's not even true. You're doing the job you're supposed to do, putting movies on a movie theater. You're not anything special. Don't make it something it's not, guys. I wish you guys the best of luck, everyone out there. But I promise you, Adam Aaron, you can't fool everyone. Good luck.